So guys, I have here is the OnePlus 10T, aka OnePlus Ace Pro. So this is probably one of the latest offering, the OnePlus, that I believe would be something now worth considering heading into Christmas. I know that the OnePlus Ace is probably one of the best mid-ranger for 2022. Now, gusto natin makita ang Pro version. Would it be worth your money or not? Tara, pag-usapan natin dito sa video na ito. Hi guys, I'm Pastor Richman of Gadget Psychic and welcome back to my channel. So here it is, OnePlus 10T aka OnePlus Ace Pro. So ito meron natin global variant, it's the 10T 5G. So sa China, it's called the Ace Pro. So buksan muna natin and we can see that there's a big 10T logo over here. And tangin na natin itong sleeve na ito. No? So there's a OnePlus logo over here. So pulling out, we have quite some documentation. So welcoming note. Quick start guide, safety information sheet, and some stickers. And of course, we have the phone itself. This looks kind of nice. And to be honest, guys, maganda tong color niya, no? It's called the Jade Green. But pag medyo nilapitan mo konti, well, it's not really too much of a Jade Green, but more of a parang grayish green na color. And of course, there's another color called the Moonstone Black. Some other things inside the box. 160 watts na Super Vook Charge Type-C. And of course, ang ating C to C cable. So quickly, itour ko lang kayo dito sa phone na ito. Sa ilalim, meron siyang loudspeaker, Type-C port, microphone in, and of course, ang kanyang SIM tray. Pag in-eject natin ang SIM tray, we can see that the it can only support two nano SIM na 5G. On the right side, meron siyang power button. Sa ibabaw, nandiyan ang kanyang noise cancelling mic and of course, ang kanyang second loudspeaker. And sa kabila, ang kanyang volume rocker. Sa likod, we can see the 50MP na triple camera setup and sa harap, ang 16MP na front-facing camera. So, this is how it uh, looks like pag nag-boot up si OnePlus 10T. So, we can see ang kanyang default na wallpaper. Ang ganda. Coming off from the lock screen, uh, pag ni-swipe up natin, you can see para nag-explode yung something na, na particles. And it looks really nice ang kanyang animation. And I kind of like it. It looks cool. Swiping down from the right, you can see all of these widgets na present also din kay OnePlus Ace. And swiping over from the left, kita natin ang iyong, well, notification center. Swiping again. And these are the shortcuts na makikita natin. So this phone has the latest na Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. So we just simply want to try to check it out. Sa kanya Antutu benchmark na version 9.4.4, it was only able to score a 872,000 points. Now, I was quite surprised na parang medyo mababa. So I did run a couple of tests, siguro mga lima. But more or less, halos nag average yung same score dito. Sometimes umabot na 880. And sometimes, it's 860. So, more or less, this is the average score that I can get. Breaking it down, ito ang makikita mo. Now, checking other benchmark like Wildlife Extreme sa 3D Mark, this is the score. And checking the benchmark sa Geekbench, this is what I got. So, tinignan din natin sa kanyang throttling test. And I can say na okay naman ang kanyang phone. Hindi naman siya na throttle all throughout the 15 minutes ng testing na ginawa natin. Now, checking DRM info, this one has a level 1 wide band security level. Now, probably the only problem na na-encounter natin sa OnePlus Ace is that it only has level 3. I'm not quite sure kay Ace Pro kung level 3 siya or level 1. But si 10 global variant, definitely it got a level 1. The phone na ito has a very nice display. It has a 6.7 inch na fluid AMOLED display. It can display up to 1 billion colors. It also supports 120 hertz of screen refresh rate, HDR10+, and of course, ang kanyang screen to body ratio is around 88%. And sa harap, it's being protected by the Corning Gorilla Glass 5. On the side, I believe it's plastic frames, and at the back, it's a glass finish. So right now, we're running on Oxygen OS 12.1 inside Android 12, and I can say the experience is really smooth, and I love the way it is. The Oxygen OS that has very vanilla-like na Android feel, walang bloatware, and it's very easy to use. Now guys, this phone nito has 16 gigs of RAM together with a 256 gig of storage. 
And currently, it's being priced at 39,990. And of course, there's another variant, which is of course the 8 gigs of RAM and 120 gigs of storage. The current price is 35,990. And of course, I'll be linking on the description box below ang official page ni OnePlus Philippines. Now, one of the things that gusto ko dito sa kanya is that it has a RAM extension. Imagine may 16 gigs ka na ng RAM. Then, dinagdaga ka pa ng 7 gig na extension. No? And grabe, it's a lot. Imagine 23 gigs of RAM. I mean, well, honestly, I'm not sure kung you'll be able to utilize all of those RAM. But of course, uh, it's just added smoothness sa multitasking and of course, lalo na sa gaming. Now, speaking of gaming, tinay naman natin maglaro dito ng a couple of games dito but more of nag-focus sa Call of Duty Mobile. I can say the gameplay was really nice. Sobrang smooth niya. And what I like about this one is yung display niya. And definitely, it's really nice dahil sa kind of fluid AMOLED display. I was able to enjoy the game uh, all throughout the game. And definitely, wala na mga masyado na feel na lags and of course frame drops. Maybe meron, pero very minimal lang siya. Halos di mo siya mapapansin. Ang kanyang touch response man dito sa screen is definitely okay. And well, checking the sounds. So check naman natin ang sound nito coming off from its uh, stereo speaker. Sa ibabaw, maliit lang ka ng uh, loudspeaker. And sa ilalim, mas malaki. So hindi masyado pantay ang kanyang uh, sound coming up from the top and from the bottom mas malakas ni hamak galing dito sa ilalim but nevertheless I can say ang sound niya is superb okay naman ka ng sound wala ko naging problema no but definitely if you want a more immersive and more solo na yung experience I would suggest you use a uh, TWS headphones or buds it will definitely enhance your experience mo now I did try to watch some videos dito over sa phone na ito I know na ang ganda na ganda display and having a fluid AMOLED display, watching videos on YouTube on the probably the highest setting possible 2K, I was able to enjoy dahil ang ganda ang smooth and the colors are punchy. I was able to really enjoy it and definitely it's worth it kasi probably one of the better displays na, na alam ko no, for a flagship killer. Now guys, charging itong phone na ito is definitely fast. Meron siya 4,800 mAh the battery and it can support up to 150 watts na super book charge. Grabe, sobrang bilis doon. And yung charger na kasama is 160. It's just probably preparing you for the future. And definitely charging this one, finish in no time. I was able to rate this phone charging from 10 to 100. Natapos siya roughly in 19 minutes. It's really insane. Ang bilis siya talaga. And to my surprise, itong phone na ito can withstand a 15 hours and 32 minutes na screen on time. Definitely, it's something good. Uh, it's a good sign sa flagship na ito, flagship killer or whatever you want to call it. Definitely, yung kanyang screen time would determine how long it can last throughout the day. And for me, uh, on normal usage naman, it was able to last me more than a day. Sometimes, a day and a half or depende naman sa aking usage. But most of the time, pag naka-mobile data ako and madalas sa the video and play some games, it would drain a lot faster. Usapan na natin about the camera of this phone. This one has a 50 MP na main camera sensor. It has an aperture of 1.8 and together with it is a 8 gigs eh, and together with it is a 8 MP na ultra wide lens, 2 MP na macro lens which can support up to 4K 60 FPS na recording. Now sa harap meron siyang drop dot notch na punch hole na 16 MP na camera, aperture 2.4, recording as high as 1080 30 fps. So the first thing I did is to take this phone out for a walk and of course I was able to really get some really nice shots dito sa phone na ito. And one thing na napansin ko dito sa phone na ito is that the focusing is quite easy. Mabilis siya mag-focus, lala sa subject. And kung hindi naman siya nag-focus, you can quickly just tap it on the screen kung saan siya mag-focus. Ang bilis, halos instant ang focusing na ito. Now, pag din na naman naman siya indoor, I can see na there are some of these photos na medyo mas low light. But one of the things na gusto ko dito sa OnePlus 10 is that medyo in-enhance na kunti using the AI ang lighting sa background. No? Giving a little bit more dramatic finish dito sa mga photos na nakuha ko. And take a quick look. Now, taking a video dito sa kind of your camera using the 4K 60fps na setting, I was able to 
really gather some nice videos dito and one thing na na-surprise ako is that it's not really that shaky. And ito naman ang performance ng kanyang front-facing camera. Now guys, if you ask me if okay tong phone na ito, I would say okay siya dahil you have all the goodies being packed inside this one. Probably the Antutu benchmark doesn't really show it but overall ang aking experience dito is definitely okay. Masarap siyang gamitin for gaming, for taking photos, and of course, carrying it around. Okay ang kanyang form factor, masarap hawakan sa kamay. Except medyo smudge magnet nga lang siya. Now guys, if you like to purchase one of this one, I'll be linking everything on the description box below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click that bell icon para hindi nyo mamiss mga future uploads like this one dito sa aking channel. And so, ako pala si Richmond, and you're watching Gadget Psychic. What's up?